Here we're going to go over some of the problems we did in last Friday's lecture. Last Friday's lecture we did some um, uh, calculations based upon mixing a strong acid and a weak acid uh, along with other things mixing acids and bases. For example this uh, question here, let me get the right ink color, this question here calculate the pH of a solution made by mixing equal parts there. Um, and what we did was we didn't put in the ice table. Instead, we just uh, uh, went directly here. There was some question in class about actually what we did, these intermediate steps. So the purpose of this is to go through those intermediate steps and show exactly uh, where we got that. All right, so let's uh, again go here. Calculate the um, <coughs> excuse me pH of a solution made by mixing equal parts of this strong acid, HCl and 0.1 molar HClO. Now what we're assuming uh, that when we have a strong acid and a weak acid about equal concentrations most of the H comes from the strong acid so really we only need to use the concentration of protons coming from that strong acid to calculate the pH. The number of protons coming from the weak acid we don't need to worry about. <coughs> So let's go ahead and do that calculation and do it in more detail. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, get the ink color here also. So what we're going to do is to show that uh, for we have HCl, strong acid, we'll get a certain number of protons here, H plus, and we have the weak acid, HClO, and we get a certain number of protons, H plus, from this. The number of protons we get from the weak acid will be much smaller than that from the strong acid and therefore we're going to use the strong acid to calculate the pH. All right, let's see how many protons we get from this weak acid dissociation. Uh, let's denote this as um, HA in our shorthand notation. So we'll write down this equilibrium HA, the weak acid, be in equilibrium with H plus and A minus. And we use the ice ta table. Here we have I, C, E. Now, in the problem, we mix equal parts of this strong acid and this weak acid. All right, equal parts mean that, for example, we take 100 milliliters of this and 100 milliliters of this, or one liter of this and one liter of this. By mixing equal parts, what we've done is diluted each one of these by a factor of two. So our initial concentration here, well, before we diluted it, the HA concentration was 0 0.10. When we dilute it by a half, this goes 0 to 0.05 molar. And the same way for the HCl, initially that was 0.15 molar. We'll dilute that by half, that 0.075 molar. All right, let's use this as our initial concentration of HA. And initially we have zero this and zero this. We're just considering the protons coming from the weak acid. All right, so minus X, X, and X. Equilibrium concentrations, 0.050 minus X, X, and X. The equilibrium, um, uh, let's see, the dissociation constant for ClO, the acid dissociation constant, 2.9 times 10 to the minus 8. That's equal to the equilibrium concentration of H and A, that's X squared, over con equilibrium concentration of HA, 0 0.050 minus X. We'll ignore x, say that's about equal to x squared over uh, 0.05, sorry, 050. We solve this for x. x is equal to uh, 5.9 times 10 to the minus fifth. And that is small, less than 5% of what we're subtracting it from, 0.05. So there's the concentration um, um, of H plus. That's what X is. X is H plus. So therefore, the pH here is minus log of that. Uh, 
uh, and that comes out to be uh, um, well actually we don't need to do this <laughs> sorry um, so this is a concentration of protons X that we get this is in molar if we dissociate the weak acid the amount of protons we get just from the strong acid is 0 0.075 molar this is molar all right so the contribution from the weak acid is much smaller than the contribution from the strong acid therefore this implies that we can use uh, HCl only uh, to calculate the pH therefore the pH will be minus log of the HCl concentration which for strong acid is equal to minus log of the H plus, uh, H plus minus log of 0.075 so the pH comes out to be uh, 0 0.823 alright so there was that uh, uh, this problem worked out in much more detail another problem we worked on last Friday was this calculate the pH of a solution made by equal parts of this weak acid with this weak acid we say that mixing weak acid with weak acid the acid with the largest dissociation constant will dominate the pH as we might expect since that's the one that dissociates more so let's look at uh, these this is in water we have three uh, dissociation constants to worry about HF HClO and of course there's always water this is 10 to the minus 14 so the number of protons contributed by water will be very small because we have a very small dissociation constant so uh, we look at these two HF has the largest uh, Ka that means that it will be most dissociated most of the H plus in the solution will come from this uh, HF dissociation and not much will come from the HClO well let's go ahead and uh, figure that out and we'll use the ice table we won't take the shortcuts that we did in class last Friday all right so we have HF that will be dissociated into H plus and F minus let's calculate the uh, number of protons that come from this uh, it's ICE and compare them with or compare that with the number of protons that come from HClO we cast a dissociate into uh, H plus and ClO minus and we'll do the ice table for this okay let's go back and uh, look at the concentrations uh, HF Equal, mixing equal parts okay there's that equal parts again which means we're going to dilute these concentrations by a factor of two so initially we'll have 0 0.075 molar HF 0 0 this will be uh, minus X X and X 0 0.075 minus X X and X for HClO we initially have 0.1 but we're mixing equal parts so we're diluting it by a factor of 2 so this would be 0.05 initially we have none of the H plus and none of the uh, base minus X goes away X appears here and X appears here so we have 050 minus X at equilibrium X and X go back up here Ka for HF 3.5 times 10 to the minus 4 that's equal to X squared over 0 0.075 minus X let's ignore X here this will just be X squared over 0 0.075 solve this for X we get X is equal to um, 5.12 times 10 to the minus 3 let's just check that 5.12 times 10 to the minus 3 divide that by what we're subtracting X from 0.075 that's equal to 6% or 7% 
So it looks like we're going to have to go through some iteration. So let's take this number, put it in here, and solve for x again. We do that once. We get x is 4.95 times 10 to the minus 3. We do it one more time, 4.95 times 10 to the minus 3. All right, so that seems to be OK. Now let's go ahead and do the calculation, see how much uh, x, by the way, is the amount of h plus. So that's how much we get from that first association. Let's do a uh, calculation here. Go back, Ka for HClO, 2.9 times 10 to the minus 8. That's equal to x squared divided by 0 0.050 minus x. We'll ignore x here, that's x squared over 0 0.050. We solve this for x. x is equal to uh, 2.9, sorry, uh, 3.74 times 10 to the minus fifth. That is less than 5% of that, so we're okay here. So let's contrast and compare. The HF, the one that has a larger Ka, has the most protons, 10 to the minus 3. For the HClO, the one that has a smaller Ka, we get 10 to the minus 5. So it looks like we can use this uh, to a couple of significant figures in order to calculate the pH. So the pH in this case, we're just going to use the HF, the one that has a larger Ka, will be minus log of 4.95 times 10 to the minus 3. And that is, um, oh, I guess I didn't work that out. Just let me pause this and I'll get my calculator. Okay, back with the answer. The answer is uh, 2.31. All right. Point there is the acid with the largest dissociation constant will dominate the pH. There was a third problem we did in class on Friday, which uh, we took a shortcut, and here we're not. We mix a strong weak base with your uh, with the weak base. For example, here's an example. Calculate the pH when sodium hydroxide, a strong base, is added to sodium fluoride, a weak base, at 25 degrees. So that the final concentrations are 0 0.10 for sodium hydroxide and 0 0.20 for sodium fluoride. And what we want to uh, show, and sort of makes sense, is that the pH will be dominated by the strong base. There'll be some OH uh, produced because of this uh, weak base here, but most of it will be from the sodium hydroxide. Okay, so let's uh, do some calculations to show that. Um, okay, so <clears throat> uh, sodium hydroxide. How much hydroxide do we get from sodium hydroxide? The final concentration there was 0 0.10. That implies you have 0.1 O-molar OH ions from the sodium hydroxide. How many uh, hydroxide ions, or how much hydroxide do we get from the weak base? So here's the reaction of the weak base. Let's go back here just to sodium fluoride. If you put this in water, the sodium ions form, the fluoride ions form. The sodium ions are spectator ions. They don't affect the pH at all. So adding sodium fluoride to water is equivalent to adding just fluoride in terms of pH equilibration. So this weak base here, fluoride, will react with water to form um, the conjugate acid and OH minus. All right, let's see how much OH we get from this reaction, and we'll show that it's small compared to that, and therefore the pH is dominated by the strong base. Here's our ice table. So given the problem, given the initial concentration, I'll just go back and check. Yes, the final concentration was 0.2 after the uh, dilution here, so we don't have to do a dilution. It says what the final concentrations are. All right, so this would be 0 0.20. We're not going to worry about water. That's a pure liquid. Just ignore that. This would be 0 and 0. 0 0.20 minus x. Oh, sorry. Oh, what am I doing here? Uh, this eraser function is kind of cool. Uh, minus x. 
and x and x. So the equilibrium concentration, 0.20 minus x. This is x and this is x. Now note that this is a base reaction. So the equilibrium constant we want here is Kb. All right. We're given what Ka is. But remember the relationship between Ka and Kb. You multiply those two together and you get Kw. All right. So Ka is 6.3 times 10 to the minus fourth. All right. 6.3 times 10 to the minus 4th, and kw, 1 times 10 to the minus 14th. All right, that is equal to x squared, x times x, divided by reactants, 0 0.20 minus x. Let's ignore x. This will be x squared over 0 0.20. Solve this for x. <clears throat> you get uh, x is uh, 1.78 times 10 to the minus 6. This is less than 5% of what we're talking, uh, what we're subtracting x from. So we're okay. Now let's contrast and compare. And this is molar. x is the concentration of OH. So here we have 0.1 molar from the OH from the strong base and 1.78 times 10 to the minus 6 molar from this base reaction. So indeed, the strong base is what's going to dominate the pH. So this implies that the uh, pOH will be equal to minus log of this base concentration, 0 0.1. Oh, if we want, we can add this on and so on, but we don't have to worry about that. So the pH, uh, pOH is uh, 1.00, and the pH then will be 13. 15.00. Okay, so there it is, the details of the problems we worked using shortcuts on Friday.